Hello and shalom, everybody. I hope you're very blessed today. Today's date is September the 15th of 2023. A very significant time at Father Ahaya's uh, timeline and calendar, everything that's, that's taking place right now. And I'm coming on because I have to share a prophetic dream. And this is a, pretty much a prophetic word for the Jewish year, the new year 5784. Now, I normally don't do this. Father Haya is called me forth to do this because he gave me a very powerful dream and he has given me the understanding and revelation of it. And he told me in the dream, he let me know. And you'll see here in a minute. He wanted me to do. Um, he wanted me to speak on it. He wanted to bring emphasis on teaching the importance of this time frame. And so without further ado, because I don't know how much time I it's going to take to make this video, but I don't have much time left right here to record. So I'm going to just do a quick prayer and, and we'll get right into it. So Heavenly Father, higher, I bless you and give you glory. And I thank you, Heavenly Father. And thank you for your mighty hand, Father, that's over each of us, Heavenly Father, over our homes and our ministries, over our families, our marriages, our finances, our children, Lord. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, Heavenly Father, and everything that rises against us, every tongue that rises against us rises against us in judgment thou shalt condemn and this is the heritage of the lord thank you father and their righteousness is of me saith the lord father we give you all praise honor and glory for your son yeshia hamashiach jesus of nazareth who is the door he is the way and the life he is everything and we thank you father for his blessed life and what he did for us giving us new life heavenly father and we thank you for your Holy Spirit today. I ask that you grant me the words according to the way you would have me present this this message, Father. And thank you for opening up new doors and opportunities. Thank you for giving us the understanding of the power of prayer and the power of the word, Heavenly Father, that we use it as our weapon and that we have all authority. We've been given it by Holy Ashiah and that our faith must unlock these doors in this season. I pray and with the key of David, I place the cloak of invisibility over us all in mind, body, spirit and heart. I seal everything said and done in the blood of the lamb. Amen. OK, so let me just get right into the dream. So I had this dream on the night of September 10th, 2023, and it was just before midnight. And that's very symbolic. And you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm just going to read it straight from my journal entry. And it says tonight I had a dream of seeing a background scenery similar to the Lionsgate portal background in a YouTube video. Um, just to kind of give a little background on the Lionsgate portal and what it means is connected to the number 88 and the number 88 is representing is connected to like time and space is connected to uh, acceleration. And that's what's happening in this season. And if you look at if you look at the movie Back to the Future, the number 88 is very significant as far as. When I say time travel, I'm not talking about us time traveling, but there's things happening in the spiritual realm that are pushing and accelerating things in this hour for the body of Christ. And um, on Father's timing, things are picking up spiritually and naturally. And he's causing us to move forward in a quicker pace. OK, so um, the Lion's Gate also has to do with the portal, you know, going through the door. And so it is about aligning yourself with the most high. So anyway, the color was bluish purple, was a bluish purple color, like a midnight scene. The moon was super huge and full. Instead of the moon mirroring me head on, it was facing left to right. And it was a portal on the left side of the portal was a lion lying, uh, laying down as if it was relaxing, looking straight at me. So for this particular part. The whole thing about the scene being at midnight, this was significant as far as when I had the dream and what and, and as I finish it up, you'll see about what time I looked at the clock because this was just before midnight. I had fallen asleep in the bed, um, hadn't prayed on any of this at that particular time. I just fell asleep. Right. So the midnight has great significance and we'll get there in just a bit. The moon was super huge and full like it was it was. It was full. It was like not just full, but it was taking up the sky type thing. Um, but instead of it mirroring me like you can see me face on, it was facing left to right. So you can only see like if this was the moon, the face of the moon on this side. OK, 
It was just like this. So I was looking at just I can only see the lining of the moon, but the moon was a portal. And on the left side of the moon um, was this lion lying down, looking straight at me, just like this one is laying in the picture, just looking at me relaxed. And then on the other side of that portal. OK, it says the, the rest of the journal entry says on the right side was a lion. But I understood this was the same lion. So this was the same lion, but it had crossed over um, through this portal. This lion was in an upright stance with his chest up and out. And I found that this was called the nobility stance. So when I researched after waking up, I kept trying to find a picture to really illustrate how I saw this lion standing because I knew it was very significant. I knew it was intentional that I saw it this way. And it's actually called the nobility stance. So I knew this in the dream that it was connected to the lion's gate portal and the door. OK, as Father Haya has been telling us, and we've talked about this on this channel, too, to focus on door number nine, because number nine is um, it has to do with the birthing. But the door is Holy Ashaya. It ha the number nine has to do with a lot of things. Birth. It has to do with the new cycle. It has to do with everything. Um, there's so many significant uh, meanings for the numbers of this this coming uh, Hebrew year. But we're going to get there. I'm sorry. So anyways, after I see this line, I said, as I saw this simultaneously, I saw Christine Valles. Now, this is a sister from YouTube. And many of you probably know her and some of you may not. But I just put a screenshot of her channel because she does the chalkboard teachings um, on the Hebrew months. OK, on YouTube each month, she'll do a video teaching the significance of that month and how it aligns with Father Haya and heaven jesus the spirit realm everything so um and i said i saw her right um she was doing uh sorry at the bottom corner of the of the dream it wasn't a vision i put that here twice but it was a dream she said like almost in a shouting manner it was literally like she was shouting it so i could understand what she was saying and she said 5784 teaching but she said it she said it louder than that. I can't even do it the way her voice was. And that was the end of the dream. OK, so when I woke up from this dream, I had to really process because I couldn't even like I was trying to remember all the details, but it was very powerful. OK, so I had to I sat there and I pondered on the details for a few minutes. And when I finally looked at the clock, it was 11, 11 p.m. And I knew that it was a sign. Um, speaking of that at the time that I actually woke up and because the scene in the dream looked like this image here. And I said, this has great significance to the new moon and Tishri one. Okay. The new moon on September 16th, which is coming up, which is tomorrow, um, has much to do with completion and the seventh month. So these, this is like, there's so much here y'all. Um, and I know he allowed me to see 1111 because of the midnight hour. It's this scene was something around midnight. OK, so the the Hebrew year 5784. So there's you know, we have the Hebrew months which start in April, which is Nissan. OK, and then you have the Jewish New Year, which is what we're speaking of right now, how um, they count the calendar and this year starts 5784 on September 16th, which is Tishri one. It's the first day of the month of Tishri. Now, Tishri is the seventh month in the Hebrew calendar. I hope I'm not confusing anybody, but I have to speak it this way because this is how Father has given me the interpretation to speak it. But the seventh month and we know seven means completion. So this has great significance to leaving one place and moving into another. And the the open doors and closing doors. Right. So I'm going to break down the interpretation of how father has given this to me. Um, so the lion, first of all, the the midnight scene, like I said, has great significance to do with the time frame that we're in. Um, actually, I'll elaborate on that in a minute. The lion lying down. OK, it represents father gave me understanding because I kept trying to figure out what does this part mean? I could understand the, you know, the line on the right side. But what does this line represent? Because he was looking at me 
And it was talking to father gave me the understanding just this morning. That's why I'm coming on because I wasn't going to speak this until I understood what the lion meant. It represents the passivity and being relaxed in our approach to taking the kingdom by force. Father's promises are coming to pass. Heavens are being shaken because blessings are being released. Breakthroughs are being manifest. Hindrances are being removed. Enemies are being destroyed. And I'm talking about our spiritual enemies and father is vindicating he is releasing he is setting free there's many things happening and because this is happening so is the kingdom of darkness so we have to in our faith begin to take the kingdom by force to take a more aggressive we have to take a more active approach by using our mouse okay father ahaya had me he pressed it up on me that day when I posted the video about open your mouth, pray, pray, pray. I felt a great wave of urgency to sound the alarm because he told me to as a watchman to warn his people to pray, 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 because your prayers are the keys to unlocking the not just the blessings, but to remove the stubborn enemies that are trying to grab hold and keep your inheritance, whatever you have been allotted from the kingdom of heaven, Satan is trying to keep you from it. You have to aggressively take back what is rightfully yours, whether it be your healing, whether it be your peace, whether it be your deliverance from anything that is causing you to be delayed or set back or afflicted. You have to open your mouth and use the word of God to speak. And he's saying this is the posture. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is the posture of some of his children in the body of Christ being very passive and laying down and relaxed. And this is not a time for that. This is a time where we have to take a stand and be bold and take the kingdom by force. And I'll read that scripture in a minute. But that's what that lion represented. Now, this portal, which was the moon, it was in connection to, of course, September 16th, which is the new moon. And on Father's calendar, we know that the new moon is actually the beginning of the month, not how we go by on the Gregorian calendars. The new moon is the beginning of the month biblically because he tells us that in his word. So. This moon was representing a portal, like I said, and the portal is a door. Y'all, I'm telling you, Holy Asha is the door, but we're talking about Dalet, which is talking about him being the door, talking about in and out of the door, back and forth, a uh, perpetual motion and things have accelerated in the spirit. And that's what the Lionsgate portal is in connection to. Things have sped up in the spirit. So they're speeding up naturally. And probably many of us have uh, been witnessing the uptick in the warfare or Father Ahaya is having us do things at an accelerated pace because he is shifting things for his glory. And because he's doing that, the kingdom of darkness is fighting his children because they don't want us to reap any harvest. So this is your sign that whatever it is that you've been delaying on, whatever it is that father's telling you to leave behind, whatever it is he's telling you to do, please do it. Don't take a passive approach to his instruction. Get up and move the way he needs you to move because he is accelerating things. But you activate this by your prayers and by the authority given unto you. And I'm going to read something in just a second. But um, the Dalet is also in connection to King David. Now, Psalm 144, blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. If you spell out his name in the Hebrew odiot, it is Dalet Vav Dalet. Dalet is the door. Vav is the hook or the connecting or joining. So it's, it's the same as what Father's having me convey. We're leaving one door crossing over. The portal is the connecting or the joining from one place to another. Okay. The way to open these doors, y'all, this is representing opening up the door. The activation of these spiritual doors will come through the weapons of warfare by prayer, by praise and worship and using the authority given unto us in Matthew 18 and 18, which says, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 
the principalities and things that are hovering over your blessings, blocking you from moving forward. Use the power of the word because it is your weapon. It is key and it is what is going to move these stubborn mountains in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, y'all. Luke 10 and 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. And uh, the word of our testimony coming from Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. So what Father Haya is telling us to do is to open up our mouth and use the authority. Matthew 11 and 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. And the violent take it by force. And this is what he's saying we have to do. And if you notice Matthew 11 and 12, because that's the one he gave me first. And then Revelation 12 and 11, they mirror each other. So 11, 12, 12, 11, 11, 11 is on the outside, y'all. 12 and 12, 12, 12 in the Strong's Concordance means to be made manifest, evident, clear, to show proof. The 1111, like I said, is connected to the almost drawing near. And that's what 5784 represents as well, because it's talking about it's connected to Goshen and Joseph. This is a time where provisions will be given. This is in many ways, ministry, uh, financial monies for the kingdom, whatever it is that father's releasing to the Josephs. There's so much to be taken from this this word this video this message from father but the 11 all of this mirrors each other 11 12 12 11 it's a mirroring factor what's happening right now and that is a, in association with the portal being between the two lions okay so we can't lay down and let the enemy let the devil take or lay hold of lock up or steal what is rightfully ours in the kingdom of heaven, we must fight, fight, fight is what he's saying. And it's a very necessary and crucial emphasis on warfare prayer. OK, this is why he had me speak that video. Y'all about pray, 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 because we have to learn to wage war in the spirit against the kingdom of darkness through the word is what Father's saying through the word of Ahia in prayer and fasting as you are led to concerning your inheritance and what father is telling you to break off of your life. So you have to be obedient to him when he is telling you these things. Um, your healing, your blessings, your inheritance in general, restoration, marriages, finances, etc. In the name and blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, you have to use your authority to take back what's rightfully yours. His will is going to be done. Father's will is going to be done, but you in faith have to open your mouth and command the release, command the blessing, command your what is yours, that is rightfully yours and strip the enemy of his power through the word. OK, now in crossing over, we must be violent and we must be vo uh, bold. And this is why that lion had his chest out. OK, he was in the nobility stance. He was bold and courageous, as he, father told Joshua to be as they were entering into the promised land. The moon in the dream was great significance of this up and coming new moon. And be it according to Genesis 1 and 14 about the moon and these signs of Leo. And because father told us, he said, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs. And seasons and four days and years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He also excuse me. He made the stars also. This was a great sign for us in the body of Christ to be prepared. He's bringing great emphasis on the importance of the shift that is taking place of him releasing the things that I've spoken of about the shifts and the breakthrough and the manifestation in the earth, things are going to materialize here. So we are actually receiving and seeing and living in the promises that he has granted us, that he has spoken according to his word and will for our life, according to Jeremiah 29 and 11 for this particular season. OK, and so the kingdom of darkness is increasing in warfare and harassment to block these things. So we have to fight.
You have to you have to fight. Your mouth is the key to unlocking these doors by your prayers and your faith. You're going to move the mountains. You have to yoke yourself with the will of Ahia. Yoke yourself with the will of God for your life, aligning and coming into agreement by faith that you accept, you believe and receive what has been declared for you. Right. You and your family, your household, you will break down Jericho walls with a shout. Hallelujah, because father has been telling me this about Jericho. So what I mean by yoking yourself and coming into alignment, you have even though you may not see the promise right now, you cannot allow yourself to be unbelieving. If father said in this season, you will have X, Y and Z. Open up your mouth and tell the enemy. No, you cannot have this. You have to take your hands off. You have to use the word. y'all. You have to declare what father said, because even what he has spoken in his word and what he's given you as personal promise is the word of God. You have to speak it. You have to shout down the walls of Jericho, right? So going on into 5784 and kind of breaking that down, it actually means chaff, which is separating the wheat from the chaff, the wheat from the tares. We know that's happening in the body of Christ as well. But also this separating has to do with us leaving one place and going to another. And actually, um, 5784, like I said, is connected to Goshen, which is this land which Joseph placed his family in when there was famine in the land. He he asked if they could be um, he asked if they if his family, his brothers and his father's house, if they could be placed in the land of Goshen. This place had provision. It was protection. And it actually Goshen means a drawing near, which is connected to the number 1111, because this is the time just before the threshold of something. The way father had me break this down, though, is by five, seven, eight. He wanted me to look at the number five, seven, eight first. But it means to look away from to see what lies ahead, looking away to look forward. It emphasizes separation Right. It says the complete break with looking away from the past and focusing on God's next stop to turn the eyes away from other things and fix them on some someone or thing to look at attentively. This goes with door number nine, which we've been talking about here for a while. But meaning, y'all, we are no longer to look back or dwell on or live on or make our own judgments off the things of the past. He's saying to focus on the door ahead of you. Don't look back. Move forward into this new because I am doing a new thing. So if he's told you to leave something alone, leave it, let it go, drop it. If he's telling you to pick up and move and get going with something, do it. This is the time of open doors and opportunities through your mouth and speaking on your podiums through your mouth in declaring what father has given you by the word of your testimony, you will move the mountains. You will break off these barriers and hindrances that are keeping you from operating fully in your gifts. You will receive the new anointing, but you have to move forward, right? So this is completely new in the spirit. This is a completely new season in the spirit. Some things are very uncomfortable because they're so new because we're not used to doing them right. And this new um, territory, New expansion, fresh anointings, y'all, fresh revelation, new mantles. But like I said, in order to receive and walk in the manifestation of these blessings, y'all, we will be leaving some things behind and some people behind because everybody is not able to go where we're going spiritually. Everybody won't understand that some people may be moving physically, be it spiritual elevation or promotion in the heavens or in the physical. We have to let go. The last part of 5784 is, of course, number four, which is dial at the door, which is Jesus perpetual motion. Father said that things were going to and they have accelerated. And some things, some people, ministries are getting ready to skyrocket and be launched by the will of a higher for their lives in this season. So we have to be um, in alignment with his will. Now, as far as the midnight scene Zero hundred hours in military time. Right. We are the remnant. This is the time of the root of Jesse. The shoot emerging, y'all emerging in this hour. We are soldiers. 
and he's telling us to be ready for battle. This new moon cycle has to do with this also zero hundred hours. It's a reset, y'all. It's a total reset. And because the new moon cycle begins the new month father's calendar, like on top of this, the moon being in Leo in this particular new moon, it was very significant in the dream. Be it for a sign unto us, y'all. This is connected to Matthew 25 and the 10 virgins. We know not when the bridegroom cometh. Meaning we need to be ready for unexpected encounters with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, his holy angels, whatever he sends to us as divine help. We need to be ready for these encounters and we need to be equipped. Excuse me. We need to have ourselves ready to be equipped so that we can receive and actually know how to embrace what is coming to us. So we don't know how his how or when his presence is going to pay us a visit, but or how it's going to manifest itself. But we have to be ready to receive these instructions, these anointings and these blessings. Right. So um, and I was also given that time is running out. Like He showed me these words verbatim that time is running. out. I took a screenshot of it and I'm going to show you all on the picture um, as we approach this new moon. Y'all listen, begin to prepare your hearts and your minds for any and all transition instructed by Father Haya. Use your weapons of warfare because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, y'all, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself above the knowledge of Yah. Consecrate yourselves if you've been called to do that. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt us and sanctify us, y'all. He will equip us with what we need and he will give us the grace to let go of the things that have been hard to uh, detach from. So open your mouth, y'all, to speak the blessings and obey the Lord. Obedience is key. Obedience is absolutely key. The best way I can describe what he's saying right now, it's as if the heavens are open and we have to pull down what is sitting there waiting to be dropped up on us. We have to pull it down boldly, through engaging authoritatively in warfare, y'all, without fear of retaliation from the enemy, y'all. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So I pray this blesses y'all and have a 